What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing uh, this. It's our Marvel Collector Core box. Yes! I don't even know what month this is for anymore. I can't even keep up with it. But this is the Marvel Collector Core box now from Amazon. Um, this is the first 10 years box, which was pretty hyped up and I was pretty stoked about it. But I will say that I saw some spoilers and I'm still like kind of stoked about it, but I'm not as stoked. I thought we were going to get, honestly, I thought we were going to get some kind of cool exclusive exclusive gold chrome pop because that's what, like they've been releasing all these gold chrome pops right with the whole first 10 years on the top so I really thought that like we were going to get some really cool kind of like Marvel Core Collector Edition one exclusive but I know for a fact that they did not do that so that's a little bit disappointing but that's okay we're still gonna open it uh, if you're interested in getting this box I'll put all of the details down below this box cost me $30 straight I have Amazon Prime so I don't have to pay for shipping and so it's pretty straightforward and it's a reoccurring subscription which is also awesome and it ships every other month I think yes all right, here we go. One shoe, oh, oh my gosh. I did not do a good job of cutting that box. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and patch and patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and patch and patch and pin. Just for old time's sake, I know there's no patch and pin in here. Um, this card came out. It's a spoiler card. We'll set that to the side. All right, here we go. First item that we have is a Pop Pez. Oh, we got the Hulk. Okay, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of that. And it even came with the candy. You guys know the GameStop Black Friday mystery boxes had all the Pez with no candy. What is that about? What's well, really good? This is a gold chrome. It's not chrome. It's just gold. It's not shiny if you really look at it closely. But it's a Pop Pez of Hulk painted gold. It's a Marvel Core exclusive, co collector core, a Marvel collector core exclusive. I'm excited because I do have the regular Hulk Pez Pop. I'm not collecting the Pez Pop. I, this is like my, this is like now my eighth one, but I'm not collecting them. I'm not collecting them guys. I'm not. We have our pint sized heroes. To be honest, I wouldn't open these because I feel like everyone got the same ones, but we'll go ahead and open them anyway. So we have um, this is what the pack looks like. I haven't seen these in stores. It's Pine Size Heroes, Marvel Studios, the first 10. They have a cool selection of who they're showcasing in this series. Uh, they all have a 1 in 12 shot. It's so sad because they don't have any Hawkeye Pine Size Heroes. Never showing Hawkeye. Oh, they have Hela. That's interesting. She looks evil. Oh, I don't even know why I would feel around because I'm pretty sure everyone got the same two, which I don't really know what the two are, but they're gold. Is this Star-Lord? Oh no, I think this is supposed to be Thor? Ah, uh, okay. I think this is supposed to be Thor. It kind of looks like Star-Lord. Uh, based off of this, I feel like this is supposed to be Thor from, from um, Thor Ragnarok. But it's hard because the reason you know that is because he's got the lines painted down his face. But because this is gold, you don't actually see the lines painted down his face. So I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be Thor. But doesn't it kind of look like Star-Lord? Star-Lord, if Star-Lord had way more facial hair. Like, look at the face. Look at the way he's smiling. Doesn't it look like Star-Lord? Okay, so I'm going to say this is either... I think this is supposed to be Thor, but I'm going to say Star-Lord because it looks exactly like Star-Lord's face. The smile. It's the smile that looks just like Chris, whatever his name is. Okay, the second one we got is... Okay, I think this is supposed to be Thanos. I've decided that, honestly, like, for Pine Size Heroes, they're probably better off not doing these gold ones because these things don't really look anything like who they're supposed to be. So I think this is supposed to be Thanos. And so I think this is supposed to be Thanos, but it doesn't look, it kind of looks like Thanos, but then it kind of doesn't. And partially because he doesn't have his funny looking chin and also because it's all gold, he kind of, honestly, he looks like Loki. Like if you put two horns on his thing, he would look exactly like Loki. I don't know. They should have done gold chrome for things like Captain America or Hulk or Ant-Man, like where, or Doctor, even Doctor Strange, where like 
there's no one else that could be because like these ones look like other people I know who I think I know who they're trying to be but they look like other people so that was that's interesting that's a little bit interesting okay well that's basically all there is except for our pops let's go ahead and take our pop out of the box we have a movie moments pop this is actually really cool though because this is from Iron Man 2 this is whiplash versus Iron Man um, you know the dude who the bad guy who built his own like I don't know what those things were like electric whips and then they're battling and they're battling um it, when during the race during the race like they're on a racetrack you know I actually really like the Iron Man movies a lot so I'm a fan of this I'm not really you guys know I've always said this with like all the Funko boxes when they started doing kind of these bigger movie moment pops out I'm not a huge fan of that just because they take up more room I'd rather just get um, one or two exclusive Funko Pops from these boxes. I'm much more a fan of that. So Funko, if you're listening, I think everyone feels the same way. Like the movie moments are cool, but like people prefer just regular Pops because they're so much easier to collect. So here's our movie moments. Oh, it doesn't even have the backdrop. Oh, the backdrop is in the box. Oh, I see. Okay. These are... Wow, not bobbleheads. That's interesting. I guess for movie moments, they don't consider these figures anymore, like action figures. So they can get away with, maybe that's why they, maybe that's why they're doing movie moments instead of regular pops. Because then they don't have to do the whole bobblehead thing and they can just do regular movie scenes. Like this is cool. Like, don't get me wrong, this is cool. And I like all of the, um, I love all of the, the, uh, what do you call it? Detail in Iron Man's suit. You can see some of his battle damage and just, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And these are, again, not bobbleheads, so that's neat as well. It's weird seeing a Marvel pop that's not a bobblehead. It's different because we're so used to bobbleheads, you know? All right, well, that was all the items in the box. Um, hmm. I mean, it's not a terrible box, but I don't know. Ever since they started changing all these things, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Why does this guy not fit anymore? What happened? Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap and see what we think this box is worth. Again, we only paid $30 for this box, so it's still fairly cheap, which is good. I do like that about it. All right, we had our movie moments. You probably could give this, uh, I think regular price these run, what, $25 to $30? I think $25 is fair. I think I've paid $25 for movie moments, even exclusive ones that are exclusive to other sites. Pine Size Heroes are usually... They're kind of expensive to be honest. I want to say that they're $4, $3.99. They should only be $2.99. These are not worth any more than $3. But I want to say that Pine Size Heroes at the store are $3.99. Is that true? Um, let's go with that. We'll give each of those four, but that's super overpriced, guys. Actually, no. I'm just going to give each of those three. I really do think that those are only worth $3. Um, and then we have our pop heads. I've been paying about, you can get these on Walmart for $4, but because it's an exclusive, I wouldn't mind giving this one five specifically because it's gold. So corner my price in this box is worth $36, and that's me pricing things fairly high. So just keep that in mind, that I priced these things fairly high. Um, we got $6 extra value. Ever since uh, Funko moved their collab boxes to like sites like Amazon or Hot Topic, we haven't been getting the type of extra value that we used to get, which is okay. It's totally okay because I, you know, subscription boxes are dead basically. But, um, you know, I'm glad that we did get some extra value, but that was me pricing items extremely high. So I wouldn't necessarily say that we got that much extra value. I'm not really quite sure. I feel good about myself that I only gave these $3 each because I really just don't think that those are worth $4 each. That's really, $4, that's like half the price of a Funko Pop. This is not worth half the price of a Funko Pop. That's for sure. Um, if I had to rate this box, uh, I'd give this box, I guess I'd give it a 4 out of 5 noobs. I really just honestly want to give it a 3.75 out of 5 noobs. So anywhere between a 3.75 and a 4 out of 5 noobs. My thing is like, one, there's not that many items. I think they could have given us at least one or two more items to be 100% honest. I would prefer that they just gave us two Funko Pops and some other additional filler items. I miss that we don't get any more shirts anymore. Like we used to get shirts. I know they're not gonna do shirts because of the whole like 
shirt size thing and all that stuff. So I get it. But yeah, I don't know. These Funko Cloud boxes, they used to be my favorite boxes out of all my sub boxes. Like whenever people would ask me like what box, what box I would recommend, I would always say the Funko Cloud boxes. And now I don't know if that's the case, to be honest. I just don't know. But it just really depends on what you're into and, and what kind of stuff you like. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Have you guys ever hit your legs together so hard that it makes like a clappy noise? Can you hear that? That's me clapping with my, my like thighs. TMI, TMI, sorry. Let me know down below what you guys thought about this box. Did you guys like it? I did like that they represented Iron Man 2. I love the Iron Man series of movies. It was, the I think, the first thing that I saw that really got me into Marvel, to be honest. Like, I was so into the Iron Man movies because I love Iron Man. I think he's hilarious. And that's really kind of where that started for me personally. So I would say that Iron Man started my love. Like, I've always liked Hulk. But I didn't really know Hulk. I just like knew he was the green guy with the purple shorts. Um, but Iron Man was really the one that connected me, mainly with obviously the MCU, but um, Marvel in general. So yeah, I'm excited that they showcased that, but I wouldn't have minded like just some regular Funko Pops. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this box down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or sent private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout is going to go to Wally's World of Toys. Wally's World of Toys. You get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, supporting my channel. You are a new subscriber, so welcome to the channel. Thank you for finding me and thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all of your support. Wally has his own channel. It's called Wally's World of Toys, so you guys should definitely check out his YouTube channel. But uh, Wally, I want to give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Wally's World of Toys. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.